Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also, join membership if you'd like to, which is the join button below this video or the link in the description box. Um, I'll likely be posting channel messages after this video. I'm not going to do them in the video today, guys, just because <laughs> I'm really tired, so um, I haven't even got to them yet, so I'm likely just going to post them in members tonight. Um, yeah, it's just been a long day. It was my dad's birthday today as well. Um, so yeah, and uh, I also just wanted to say something funny that happened. Um, there ended up being construction in my city today when, um, I don't know, the, the, I wasn't planning on there being, and so I had to take this weird direction. I was very annoyed I was going to be late, but um, I took it this other street, and then it was so funny. You know how in the last, one of the last readings, I mentioned the building Roundhouse. Um, I, I said it was significant. We've been talking about someone bringing you flowers. Okay, I like got stopped in construction, and I was like just, you know, sitting there looking around, and the building beside me in giant letters said Roundhouse, and then next to it was a flower shop. And then in front of that was a sign that said 333. <laughs> I was like, if this is not the universe trying to say something, then I don't know. <laughs> I just, I thought that was hilarious. And I feel like that's another reason to always believe that everything happens for a reason. So I wanted to point that out to you guys. Um, I also just, I'm telling you guys just a couple of channel messages I got before we start this. I was also hearing uh, Corinthians um which i know could be something else but i'm getting that it, it also could be uh it's like a soccer team or something in san antonio texas that could be relevant to someone or a football team something like that um what else it was also hearing four seasons hotel too um and then i think i was also hearing say what's on your mind or something like say say what you need to say like that song um that those are the channel messages so far for this reading and again we'll we'll do more in um members as well but Okay, getting into this message today, um, basically, <laughs> uh, in this reading, I'm getting that there is a masculine who is, this, this card kind of represents it well, I feel, just sort of sitting there, kind of like contemplating life a little bit. This man could have a beard, he could wear hats a lot. Um, something about flowers, again, could be significant. I also feel like this is someone who's been through a lot with the tree trunk here, you know, years of things going on. He could be um, someone older, or he could just have been through a lot in his lifetime, or it feels like a lifetime since you guys have last spoke. I, I think that's actually part of the message here. Something about there being a long time. It's been a lot of waiting, uh, for this masculine. And in this reading, I actually pulled cards about Divine Feminine. So I did part of this reading earlier, but then I had to leave for my dad's birthday. So I came back. So that's why some of the cards are missing here. But um, I did pull a card about uh, Divine Feminine being a little bit impatient, um, getting a little bit tired of waiting on this masculine. And, um, you know, it's so funny. It was so perfect. I brought out the, what is it called? The Destiny Oracle deck today. Um, and one of the cards I pulled out, the first card that fell out, I didn't even get a chance to shuffle, was the Patience card. <laughs> so Spirit's sitting here like, I know, he's taken a while, but can you please be patient? I also feel like Spirit, though, was a little bit frustrated with him, too. <laughs> I, I feel like Divine Feminine is, but also Spirit is. So Spirit's like, yeah, Divine Feminine, I'm sorry, I have to show you this again. But yes, please be patient. We're trying to get him to make a move, but, you know, it, it's taken a little longer than we'd planned. So yeah, just keep sticking it out is kind of what Spirit's message is today. Um... So yeah, I thought that was kind of funny, but also a little bit frustrating for some of you, I know. But this is where Masculine's at right now. He's kind of in his own place, I feel, li quite literally. Like he could be, I'm getting either in a hotel room or like in his own house or something, or just somehow he's away from people right now or just kind of, you know, hanging on his own room. I don't know. Um, but he is just kind of hanging around, watching some TV, some Netflix, doing a lot of reading I'm getting um just kind of contemplating life a little bit contemplating what's my next move gonna be am i gonna take this big action because whatever it is he wants to do is going to be a big huge move and i feel like it's going to be life-changing for him and that for some of you is some kind of um big romantic gesture some kind of proposal to you um this also could be a job proposal for some of you that he wants to bring to you or both a proposal for love and also proposal for a job but whatever this is, it's huge. It's life-changing for him. And so he's taking a really long time to think about it. 
And the reason he's doing this is because he has a lot of, I don't want to say baggage, but just like stuff that he's been through in his past. And that's why I feel like the tree trunk is very fitting here. He's been through a lot in his lifetime um, with a lot of people. I feel like in his family, he's dealing with a lot of family members or people from his past still. They're still kind of in his energy right now. And there's a big message from Spirit today saying that this masculine needs to clear something out. I kept pulling my one written handwritten card that says um, something still needs to be cleared. And that's what this card is all about too. Um, just he needs to basically release the past, release what's been holding him back, release the negative thoughts that what happened in the past could repeat itself or, um, you know, the divine feminine will say no or that this won't work out with her or this next big change is going to be horrible and it's all going to go wrong. These are the type of thoughts he's having right now. Um, he's really a little overthinking the whole thing, stressing about it, and Spirit's saying he needs to let go. He needs to realize that, you know, the past does not have to repeat itself if he decides it doesn't have to. Um, if he decides to change his mind, you know, and focus on the positive and go for that. Um, Spirit's saying in this message specifically that if he does make this move, if he does reach out to you, if he does do this grand gesture, that his life is going to change for the better, and I feel like yours is too Divine Feminine. This, in this reading, I'm getting so many messages from Spirit being like, take action. This masculine needs to take action. He needs to stand in his power. Um, it's also talking about leadership as well. Um, he needs to realize that he is a leader in his own life, that he can make um, changes for himself. And it does not matter what other people say or think. He needs to do this for himself. What does he feel is right? He needs to follow his intuition and take action on that. Because there is a lot of interference still from past people here. I'm getting this masculine's getting really tired of family members interfering, um, saying things in the background. We also have, I'm talking to my family about you. And we also had parents in this reading come out. Conversation between family members. Um, I'm getting that there's a conversation going on with family members right now. Where they're actually, I don't know if you they know about something you believe in divine feminine. Or they know you're spiritual. And there's some sort of... Uh, difference between you and this family um, this could be like cultural or religion or I don't know like uh, just your beliefs something you believe in is different um, and they don't like that there's something that this family does not like they do not want this masculine to go towards you they don't want him to make this decision they tell they're telling him that it's wrong um, that he should you know stay where he is or whatever or do what they think he should do it's something like that and it's something about you I don't know if they know if you're like spiritually gifted or something because I pulled out clairaudient and clairvoyant in this reading. Um, and there's something about someone being scared of your spiritual abilities. Um, someone I feel, I don't think it's just scared though. I think people are also impressed, a little bit interested, intrigued, amazed, but also at the same time, they fear you a little bit because you're different, because your beliefs are different somehow. This so again, doesn't have to just be spirituality. That's just what I'm getting in this reading could be a metaphor for something else but there's something about you that scares these people um you have some sort of ability or something or beliefs in something that these people don't like they're like yeah well like we don't we don't share that same belief or like this person basically they could also be saying something like i'm getting here that you're practicing things of like the devil we also have not today satan um i, I didn't even know that i had that sticker by the way <laughs> but it's like they think that what you're doing is wrong or scary or against whatever their beliefs are and they don't like that. But meanwhile, I feel like they're also a little bit intrigued in you, a little bit interested in how you do what you do, um, a little bit fascinated with you. And I also feel like this masculine, he's scared of you, is intimidated by you for this reason too. But at the same time, this is also what he thinks of you. He thinks you're pretty magical, pretty amazing and highly intuitive. And... I think that he's spending a lot of time. I know we keep getting books in this in these readings, like that message keeps coming out. I think that a masculine's spending a lot of time reading up on either spirituality or reading up on your beliefs, something like that. So if he wasn't spiritual before, I feel like now he's looking into it more, um, becoming more interested. And that frustrates, I feel like, these family members because they don't want him interested in the same things you are. But I feel like he's becoming more fascinated with you. And you see in this card, we have a zipper too. It's like unzipping a whole new world. I feel like he's about to see things in a whole new way because of you, Divine Feminine. Because we also have um, somewhere down here, spiritual enlightenment. So I feel like you're revealing to him this whole world that was once hidden. Um, 
and and again these people don't like it but i feel like this is part of the reason you guys are meant to come together because you're spiritually awakening him more and more every day and now somehow he is learning more about you and your beliefs and it's kind of opening his eyes to something he never knew before and he's really intrigued and i feel like that's why someone's doing a lot of reading a lot of like uh, searching online, looking up videos and things, watching stuff about this. They could even be watching your videos if you post things like you're a tarot reader like me or you do other things online. I feel like this person is watching you or looking up stuff about you and they're just becoming more and more interested in you every day. But again, part of the reason that they are a little bit slow at coming forward is because one, they're a little bit intimidated by you. Two, like their family members, someone here doesn't fully agree with uh, your beliefs with him ending up with you. They don't feel like you guys should be together because of this difference in beliefs um, Something like that. There's also the the third party that's still kind of showing up here a karmic from the past that um, This masculine currently has blocked or is not in contact with this person is feeling this masculine slip away from them um, They feel like they're no longer connected with him uh, He has not answered any of their messages. They're wondering what's going on No one really knows fully if you like what's going on with this masculine right now because he's not answering a lot of messages Again, he's in this sort of area of just hiding out, like hanging out. Um, I don't want to say this, but honestly, this is the card that I pulled today, but we have waiting and procrastinating. So I do feel like this masculine's kind of in this, in this gray zone right now where he's just not made the decision yet, but he's right on the fence. Like he's very close. We have the two of pentacles here. He's just, he's so close to this. And spirit is saying like, all you have to do is take that stuff forward and it's about to change your life. And so I feel like spirit is very much encouraging this masculine and maybe that's why they're also letting him, you know, find more things out about you. Um, and spirit's saying the future is ahead. Like it's coming up if you just take this action. And we also have map here. So I feel like he hasn't fully gotten to wherever you are. Obviously he hasn't fully traveled to the final destination you could say, um, but he's on the right path and he's so, so close like we just have this hangman card hangman card which is like the little pause right in the middle of this whole thing and look what we have after we have the sun we have the best card in the deck right after the hangman card if he just takes this action spirit saying if you take this forward movement this is what it's going to lead to and if you express yourself this includes expressing yourself and saying how you feel to someone you have to let it all out um and then things are gonna be so beautiful like we have right here coming out of hiding so this will happen. I feel like this is this is going to happen. He's just taken a little bit of extra time and spirits like, all right, okay, we get it. You want to take a break, but you got to get moving again soon. And you've got to listen to your own intuition, listen to yourself and don't let the past hold you back because that's why this card is coming out because someone needs to release something that they've still been holding onto from the past. This doesn't always have to be the masculine too. It could be divine feminine as well. If there's anything you're still holding on from the past that you still have negative feelings towards, spirit saying, you know, do a cleanse, let it go, uh, release it, detoxify, all that stuff, you know, bring out the sage, do something like that, but let it go, whatever it is, and then, you know, something new is going to come in because you have to clean out your closet before you can put new things in it, right? Um, we also have this card here coming out. Again, this is where this masculine's at right now, guys. I'm telling you, he's just... I feel like he's been through a lot too. He does deserve a little bit of a break, but I mean, he's kind of taking his sweet time a little bit, especially with the Knight of Pentacles coming out here. This is not the fastest moving energy, but it is a determined energy. So it's not someone that's been giving up. They're just kind of taking their time getting to their final destination. And um, regarding to spiritual abilities, this card is so funny. It really reminds me of someone uh, with spiritual powers or something because we got the wand with all the magic. I feel like this is how these people look at you, this group of people right here. They're looking at you as someone very powerful, very magical, but they'll never admit that. I feel like they do see that you have some sort of ability to attract this masculine, and that's actually why a karmic person is a little bit fearful of you. We have the karmic person is blaming Divine Feminine for things going wrong, and then we had clear audience, clairvoyant, and we also have down here, um, I think you're out of my league. So I actually feel like this karmic person secretly is very interested in how you do what you do and is kind of curious about you and they feel like whatever abilities you have are like the devil or something because 
uh, he's so attracted to you because he only wants you and not them and they're like well obviously she's put some sort of spell on you or something I, I feel like that's how they see it they don't see the positive side of it or they're intrigued and they just wish that they could do it themselves and I feel like that's the part that they don't like is that they can't compete with you because you really are the real thing you're the real divine feminine so yeah that that's what they don't like about it um also i want to point out someone here definitely could play guitar or just again something with music because i've pulled two guitars now and all my stickers and i think there are only are two so um i thought that was interesting and again we have the map so travel is definitely involved here um again with the karmic person here we have silence cold broken hearted so definitely he has left this person in the dark they don't really know anything that's going on right now and I feel like no one really does. Everyone's kind of waiting on this masculine to make a move. Everyone. Because even the karmic is kind of like, all right, well, like, I want to know what you're up to then if you're not answering me or doing anything. <laughs> I feel like everyone's just like, what is he going to do? What's his next move going to be? Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm getting. Um, if, when he does contact you, it will be a surprise invite. And he's, of course, it says, I'm so close to contacting you. I'm telling you guys. It's very close to happening. Um, we also have this card right here. Someone here could speak Spanish. This came out earlier in the reading. I feel like this could also be a family member as well or the, one of the karmic people. Um, if it's not, you know, your masculine or you. Um, just someone here could speak Spanish or this is just this masculine saying, you know, hello when he comes to see you or something like that. Um, also, I'm getting a lot about flowers again in this reading. I keep getting cards about honey. Um, I don't know if honey is significant or if someone just thinks you're very sweet. That could also be it. I'm also getting the whole like Arizona vibes again or like something somewhere um, kind of deserty or maybe somewhere with mountains. Some are very warm, but I'm getting that this masculine, wherever he's traveling to, um, is, is like colder than where he is. Where he is is very hot right now, but I feel like he's traveling some more colder is what I was getting because in the this deck earlier today, I pulled the basically two cards that have to do with like the cold like the polar bear card and then there was one other one but yeah so i feel like he's traveling somewhere colder and then again in terms of this right here spirit's also saying like to this masculine again do not let your negative thoughts slow you down look at this card we literally have the snail right here for the chariot in this deck which i think is kind of funny because the chariot's supposed to be the fastest moving card but then we have the snail in this deck representing it so i feel like Spirit saying, you know, you're kind of, you're making moves, you're taking some action, but you're doing it as at a snail's place. So we kind of need to pick it up a little bit. We got to let go of the negativity to basically take that final step and really manifest this into the 3D world because that's what this card is all about. This card also reminds me of travel because look at how high up in the air they are. It looks like a plane or something. Um, and uh, yeah, we also have the butterfly here too, which is all about transformation. Someone needs to let go of the past to fully embrace their future, basically. That is what Spirit's saying in this message. And when they do that, like their whole life's going to change. Your whole life, Divine Feminine, is going to change. Like everything I feel is just going to be amazing on the other side of fear here. So um, that's kind of what we're waiting on in this situation. Uh, I feel like that's mostly all I have for this reading. There's also something coming out though about um christmas again i don't know what it is christmas dinner december 31st i don't know how that's somehow important but i feel like it is um also have secrets that are going to be revealed to you i've told you that before there's going to be something that comes out and again i feel like whatever this is it's very public um how it comes out to you how you hear about it that's why this is taking so long for him because this is not some minor move this is a big move a big bold action that he will take so that's why it's very hard for him. But at the same time, Spirit's saying, you know, he has everything he needs to do this. He can do this, but he needs to not listen to the people from his past. He needs to release them and fully move forward into this. And that includes you, Divine Feminine. If you have any, you know, resentment from the past, remember to always let it go, move forward and, you know, expect good things. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much all we have for today. When you guys do meet up again, something, there will be something about a long conversation that comes up. Um, you are an empath as well. So again, very spiritual, very empathic. You could have some sort of spiritual abilities as well. Um, and uh, yeah, 
Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also, join membership if you're interested. I will try and do some channel messages tonight before I head to bed. I'm very, very sleepy today. Um, so yeah, I also wanted to let you guys know um, in advance um next week i likely will not be posting on youtube i'm very sorry it hurts my heart to not post but um i am going on my first vacation in like um <laughs> two three four years maybe so um it's very exciting but also it's hard for me i'm, I'm kind of a workaholic so i'm gonna miss this a lot but um i'll take likely the whole week off i will try and maybe do some like mini videos or something for you guys but i'm not bringing all my like written cards with me so i will only have just like basic tarot so i might just do some quick messages along with along with some channel messages as well um maybe we'll see we'll see how i'm feeling so i'll let you guys know but anyways uh i just want to let you guys know in advance so i don't freak you all out when i disappear off youtube <laughs> but i will be back so Yes. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Also join membership. Like I said, if you want the additional messages, if anything in this reading resonates. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for all your support. Uh, it really means a lot to me. So I'll see ya. All right. Bye.